I'ma keep it written. Got a phone we a child. I'ma keep it written. Hey friends, this is up to Red Neck Game here. Welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 17 on the Green Farming Series on Farm Town USA version 2, my edit of it. So the uh the horse horse farmers that we sold this lane to uh, invited us out for a horse ride. They said we could take lead and sure enough we did. Um but kind of off topic do you guys like this mansion being here or would you rather it be a log cabin because there was just a log cabin recently put out on the mod hub uh, for Giants editor and it looks fantastic it's pretty big too I think it would look great here that's just my personal uh, thought I guess I haven't tried it out yet but let me know what you, get, what you guys think. Would you prefer this uh, mansion, or would you prefer like a log cabin? And you go, you can go to the uh, uh, farming simulator website, go into mods, and then look for the log cabin. Log cabin, if you want to see what it looks like, or I'll just post a picture right here on the screen if I remember to. Anyways, let's get it back into the actual episode. So they just wanted uh, to invite me for a horse ride. And they just got their horses in uh, two days ago, I think. And uh, so far they are they are doing good. And they wanted me to come by and see what all my hard work with the hay has been uh, has been putting putting uh, to what what all that hard work was leading to and being put into. They also wanted to show me what they've been doing with the place, which is pretty cool. They got a fence all fenced in, or all built around the stables, which is awesome. Really awesome to see them uh, getting this farm back to 100% uh, functioning, uh, to a uh, functioning state. Really, really awesome to see that. So we'll go ahead and pull up to the stable and we'll actually we have some other stuff we have to do today so I'll see you guys in just a second. Alright so before we really get into the episode we have some businessy things to take care of uh, beforehand. And um, almost ran, ran over that street sign there. So this the businessy stuff I'm talking about is buying some land actually let me see something why is that on oh I was messing around with something off camera whoa had too much Red Bull sorry about that <laughs> so we're going by this field here which is right next to our uh, root crop farm we'll go up we'll leave our blinkers on because we'll be pulling off to the side of the road again in not very long we're going up to here we're not buying this huge field yet at least hopefully soon hopefully someday we'll park here and we're grabbing this one and what, what other ones am I going to be grabbing I need to remind myself uh, we're going to grab these three right there so this so the property we're buying right now is mainly going to be uh, put towards the root crop farm uh, to help increase the production with that farm, hopefully at least. And why do we need to buy these fields? I think I have to go through here somewhere. Nope, not there. Uh, it's right here. There we are. So we want this one. They are pretty small fields, but they will add up in the long run of uh, uh, yieldage. Especially if we do something like sure beats. I mean, we saw how much sure beats yield. But we mainly want to up our uh, potato production. Because we didn't make that much off of the, uh, we, or the 
yields on the potatoes weren't that great. Which, you know, I'm not complaining about because we still had a fantastic harvest. It's just, I'd like to see that whole thing filled up. <laughs> Alright, let's buy this one. There we go. So that's that. Still got to clean up harvest here. Got a few bits of land to still harvest. Uh, just like those spots right there. But anyways, that's not what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be uh, messing around with some hay. And, uh, well, I'll see you guys when we get to that. Alright guys, welcome back. So we are here at the new improved uh, compost area. Which I'm actually going to now recall the uh, hay and straw. Um, I forget what I was going to call it. <laughs> but anyways, this is the, where we're, we... Uh, Recycle, recycle stuff we don't use, uh, aren't wasting bales and wood chips on the farm. So we can make it into useful stuff like uh, compost. Or we just had a company move in and they make like hay, hay grass, and straw pellets, apparently. Which apparently can be used for uh, heating heating houses which is actually really cool really glad to see these guys moving here really glad to let them use our land here um, they, you know they pay a small rental fee for the land and I went ahead and built two big uh, storage barns here for both my compost facility and their facility and um yeah, only downside is we do have to use a little bit of a different baler for this company. Uh, they only accept the uh, more of a rectangle bale like that. So that's why we have this beautiful BB960A New Holland with a crop cutter. Uh, where is that? Yeah, crop cutter right there. Also, it's the same one they use on the farming life, which is awesome. Pretty, I, I enjoy that uh, YouTube channel. Pretty cool stuff over there. Check them out if you haven't already, guys. Uh, they're based off of uh, P Pennsylvania Farm, which is awesome. Alright, so these guys said so all I really have to do is grab some bales and put it and hook up to their machine in there. And then put the bales on one by one onto a conveyor belt. I don't know. They, they brought this machinery from over in Europe and this is, this is kind of like a beta test for this in all of America. So, honestly, I feel pretty good about, <laughs> pretty good about saying that. That we're uh, home and working with the first ever facility of this type. The first ever equipment of this type over here in America. So they have this weird baler thing, which apparently you can just take out to the field and use too, but they said the preferred method for us is going to be to hook it up and, un and then uh, use our hydraulics and put out a conveyor belt. And then, oops, make sure we're lined up good. That looks good to me. We just have to turn it on. Alright, there we go. Now, like I said earlier that they said, we just have to feed the bales onto the conveyor belt one at a time. Let's go ahead and do that. One at a time, so we just want the top one please thank you very much they also uh, hooked us up with this pretty awesome JCB uh, skid steer very nice skid steer if I do see so myself and the conveyor belt just takes it away and apparently it gets shredded in those shredders and jumped in there ran through that and it comes out as a pellet. 
which kind of boggles my mind, but you know what? Okay. I ain't gonna argue with it. There we are, and I just got a text on my phone. I'll be right back, guys. Actually, I'm not gonna cut it. I'm too lazy to do that. I already cut twice in this video. Uh, it should be a quick one. There we are. Nice and easy. Nice and simple. Alright. So let's grab this other bale since we see that one being fed in. Let's see if we can catch it being shredded out. Oh, it's not there. Oh, there it goes. Oh, wow. That's awesome. It's actually really awesome. Let's look at all this. That's pretty cool, actually. So the bale just gets shredded into grass again. Well, hey. Just through here, comes up here, and then it's pellet. It's in there, and then right through there. Pretty cool. And then you can see them being bagged there. Pretty nifty little machine, actually. Probably shouldn't be bouncing all around it like I was, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Getting a little sick here. Uh, not sick, just let me tell you how crazy the PA weather is. Okay. Yeah. So we just had a snowstorm uh, Saturday night. It dropped about three and a half, four inches of snow. Nothing much. The next day was 50 degrees. I'm not even kidding you. So yesterday was 50 degrees, all the snow was melted, um, except for like my front yard because that doesn't get much uh, sun, not when it's warm out anyways. And coming up on Wednesday it's going to be like 73 or 75 degrees. And then it's going to get cold again, like back down to like really cold. So that's, that's just PA weather for you. Pretty cool. Also, guys, this is all possible with the uh, straw harvest DLC or add on rather. Um, so, you guys can pick that up if you want to. It's pretty cool, it's pretty neat. Uh, a little expensive if, I, if I'm honest, but it's pretty neat nonetheless. Um, so, yeah. That's actually going to do it for this episode. That was a rather, a rather short one today, but, you know, it's a Monday, just getting back into things. And uh, hopefully everybody has a, had a good Monday and has a good week and has a good week ahead. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please like, dislike, comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you are already subscribed, click the bell icon so you're notified of when I upload an annual stream. And until next time, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real.